A New Jersey family is in mourning tonight after a deadly fall at the World Trade Center Oculus. A woman plunged about 30 feet to her death while with her twin sister. Tonight, we have new information on the victim. CBS 2's Brian Connie Bear is live for us in Lower Manhattan. Brian? Well, Jessica, this tragic accident happened at about 5.30 this morning here inside the beautiful World Trade Center Oculus. In fact, it happened right over here on this escalator between the second and third floors where a young woman suddenly lost her life. 29-year-old Jenny Santos of Kearney, New Jersey, was apparently on her way home with her twin sister when she fell some 30 feet over the side of this escalator handrail to the marble floor below. Sources tell CBS2 the victim was trying to save her sister Jessica's hat, which had somehow dropped over the side when she apparently lost her balance and fell. It's just, you know, hard to even believe this. <laughs> At times struggling for words, Clemens Reinke talked about the vibrant young woman who coached crew with him at the Bergen County Rowing Academy. Just yesterday, she was with us. You know, Jenny was coaching our team. Very gentle, caring, um, loving person, always ready to help. Was beloved by our rowers. The freak accident happened inside the soaring $3.9 billion World Trade Center transit hub known as the Oculus that just opened last summer. Stunned visitors left trying to make sense of it. It had to be horrible for her sister standing right there. You know, it's just dreadful. You know, it's un just unbelievable that something like that could happen. Jenny Santos was a graduate of William Patterson University and a teacher. She was taken to Bellevue Hospital, but it was already too late. Please hold the handrail. Some wonder if safety rails or glass walls could have saved her. I think that they need to build the walls a little higher when they create these escalators because the same thing happened at Shea Stadium when they redid Shea Stadium. Someone fell over the escalators. The walls are not high enough to prevent tra tragic accidents that happen like today. But Coach Clemens says he's not surprised Jenny would try to save her twin sister's hat. And somehow the hat flew away or so that she would jump after that. That's kind of her fun-loving way, also her helpful way of wanting to, wanting to be helpful. And uh, I can't believe that this went so wrong. No comment from the Port Authority tonight on the accident and whether safety glass may be considered here. One friend of Jenny Santos told me she was a wonderful person, a treasure who will be missed immensely by all who knew her. Reporting inside the World Trade Center Oculus tonight, Brian Connie Bear, CBS 2 News.